really helpful. Again, no one whose who's judgment about this is, is more useful than uh, Secretary Gates's. Let me ask you before we return directly to, to public service about another issue that young people think about, and that's the U.S. relationship with China. President Biden this week had a Zoom summit, if you will, with uh, Xi Jinping. Uh, I'm curious about whether you uh, are, are worried that China under President Xi may move sooner rather than later to try to reunify uh, Taiwan. He said he doesn't want to do it by force, but he clearly is determined to do it. Is that something that you think we can address better than we're doing now? Well, I think the likelihood of an actual full-scale invasion of Taiwan, uh, the odds of that are pretty low right now. First of all, the Chinese have a very limited amphibious capability. They've barely exercised it. This would be an operation sort of on the scale of D-Day. And, and there are so many other tools in, that he has available to him to bring pressure on Taiwan that do not involve a high risk of war with either Taiwan or the United States or both. And, and by the way, a large scale war would very likely bring in the Japanese, the Australians and other countries as well. So it wouldn't necessarily just be the United States, but he has the cyber capabilities essentially to cripple Taiwan. He has the ability, economic ability to bring great pressure to bear because of the extensive economic connections between Taiwan and the mainland. Uh, he has the ability to bring great economic pressure to bear. If he wanted to be even more aggressive, he could potentially seize one or more small Taiwanese islands that are actually quite close to the Chinese coast. The United States nor Taiwan, I suspect, would go to war for, either, for, for those, but it would be what I call a nibbling strategy that would send a signal, I'm coming or we're coming. Um, but at very low risk of conflict, or if he wanted to be especially aggressive, he could impose some sort of a quarantine, uh, a naval quarantine around Taiwan and dare the United States to break it. Uh, in other words, it would be the United States starting a conflict by challenging a, a an economic blockade of Taiwan. So there are a number of tools short of an outright invasion uh, that she has available to him. And with the economic pressures that he's beginning to deal with at home, with the Olympics coming up and so on, I think a war, risking a major war is, is pretty low on his priority list, but there are a lot of ways in which he can bring a lot of pressure to bear on Taiwan.